Well, in their business, speed is everything. But V8 supercar drivers Lee Holdsworth and Tim Slade took the slow road here to Darwin. Our Paul Marshall hopped aboard the GAN for a trek across the desert with the Ford Duo. They just want to go fast. Four drivers, Lee Holdsworth and Tim Slade from Stone Brothers Racing. So it's only early days, but the Blue Oval boys are having a ball. Catching the GAN, 3,000 kilometres from Adelaide to Darwin for this weekend's V8 Supercar Round. Nothing fast about it. There is lots of information about the tours. If you'd like to do them, let me know. Not a bad life as a race driver. They had their own private carriage. Only one stateroom, though. Scissors, baby, rock. Bang! The Afghans brought camels to Australia to help in development of the Overland Telegraph. The GAN is named after the Afghan camel drivers who opened up Australia's Red Centre 150 years ago. When the train started in 1929, it only went as far as Alice Springs. Just eight years ago, the line was extended to Darwin. You don't catch the GAN because you're in a hurry. It's two and a half days to Darwin at an average speed of 85 kilometres an hour. A V8 race car will do that in first gear. The GAN is more knitting than racing. Not very fast at the moment, I think. Probably 60. <laughs> We're going fast or slow enough to be able to see um, everything that's on the ground beside us. We're looking for a snake. We really want to see a snake. Genevieve Alconk is making her first trip on the GAN as part of the crew. Remember Tim's stateroom? This is Genevieve's. At the moment, we're standing in the kitchen. Um, this is for the guests on this carriage, so they have a tea and coffee facility. At night time, this actually is my bedroom. It looks like a cupboard, but it's actually a bed. And it clips in there. Genevieve, you, you sleep in the kitchen. I certainly do. Then I can help clients down the hallway. Do you think this is what happens to all the new girls? Yes, I've actually been told that everyone who starts gets this coven or eye first. Everyone cops it. <laughs> After the first night and a brilliant sunrise, the GAN stops for a few hours in Alice Springs. And it just happens to be the end of the Fink Desert Race. Nearly 600 bikes and cars, the biggest community sporting event in Central Australia. We give them a big welcome. They're on their way up to race V8 supercars in Darwin. Clark Petrick prefers mountain bikes and runs tours of the Alice. John McDowell Stewart came up this area looking for an overgra overland telegraph line, and um, Alice Springs was chosen because it had permanent water. So we're right beside the ancient Todd Riverbed. Um, it only flows probably once every two or three years. For Tim and Lee, a chance to race. They're pretty Ride bikes to stay fit between races, not usually on a train. You ever ridden a bike on a train before? No. <laughs> That's a first. I mean, I can't even remember the last time I went on a train. It's time for the top ten shootout here at the Valley and Lee Holdsworth. And as they pedalled, they watched last year's Darwin race. Holdsworth looks on slowly. We live, eat and breathe racing and, um, you know, I know at home the first thing I think about when I get up is, is motor racing and it's about the last thing you think about before you go to sleep. Hey guys. Uh, how you doing? Oh yeah. Here's the motor racing fan. Yeah, oh yeah. You on your way to Darwin? Oh yeah. I'm old enough to be his mum. <laughs> After another night, there's a stop in Catherine and a boat trip through the Catherine Gorge. Well, folks, as you can see, these two big cliffs um, coming up either side of us here. This is the entrance through the Arnhem Land Plateau. This is totally new for us, so to see these amazing gorges that are millions of years old. Do race drivers have to shave their legs? No, nah, we just do it because we think it feels really cool when we're <laughs> away from the girls. <laughs> My girlfriend's jealous because mine look better than hers. It's a bike thing. The food's been fantastic. Have a look. <laughs> On the train, Tim and Lee made friends with the chef. Oh, this guy's been good. He's been giving us uh, extra ice cream every day. You're the hardest, one of the harder ones not to recognise. I mean, char um, Tim with his... Jaw. Uh, yeah, well... <laughs> G.I. So, Joe, yeah. look about him. Yeah. G.I. Joe. <laughs> what does that mean? He was actually saying that he recognised you from your... Oh. Your facial. Was G.I. Um, Joe got big chops as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. got the, like, the hero jaw. Well, if you're hanging out in Emily, the 
The GAN has always been about the journey, not the time. Tim and Lee made it to Darwin slowly. Guys, you've just spent two and a half days together in the same train carriage. Ready to race again today. Guys were telling me yesterday that it was such a good experience, just a real bucket list thing to have actually taken that train up through the centre of Australia, seen those beautiful sunrises along the way, and both the guys picked their highlight as Catherine Gorge, getting oh, off the train yeah. and taking a, a trip through Catherine Gorge, they said, was absolutely spectacular. So a great way to get to the races. Yeah. It's an incredible place, Catherine Gorge. I mean, one of the yeah. few places that you know, literally kind of takes your breath away. You mm. look at it and go, oh, can't believe it. Mm. Tremendous. Thanks, Brett. Good on you. Thanks, Brett. We were just discussing uh, we might do the uh, show from maybe the Prince of Wales carriage yes, on the please. GAN. Yes, uh, If you're watching, if yes. You're, yes, a, a wealthy We'd love TV to, producer out there. <laughs>